I'm back in Skyrim Special Edition, and I'm here specifically to check out the Shirley Follower mod. I'm really excited about it. I'm a long-time fan of Shirley Curry. I could rave and rave and rave. I've been watching her videos since pretty much since she started posting, and uh, she's been a big presence in my life. And I just I love her to bits, and I'm excited to check out this mod. But you can't, I I can't anyway. I can't play a Skyrim game with a Shirley mod and not bring a backstory to the table. So I actually got really distracted writing a backstory for this character I've created, Geralt, and it got too long to read <laughs> to read in a recording. I'm sure nobody cares, but I'll give it to you in a nutshell. Um, Geralt, Geralt's mother. Uh, birth mother. He, he doesn't know who his birth mother is. He thinks his mother is Sadie, but his birth mother is um, and Sadie raised him, Sadie and her husband, and he's had a happy a happy life, a charmed life, and he's spent, uh, as soon as he reached adulthood, he had itchy feet like his maternal grandmother, although he doesn't know that, and he headed off to explore Tamriel and for the last few years <clears throat> he's just been wandering and having adventures and exploring but his birth mother is Lesha excuse me his birth mother is Lesha and Lesha is a mortal woman who um, was so beautiful and so good-natured that she drew the attention of the gods in particular Mora House Lesha reminded Mora House of his deceased wife who was a mortal Alessia who Mora House loved very, very much, and to this day he honors her memory in any way he can. He misses her. He's been known to defend and protect mortal woman who reminded him of, it, of his deceased wife. And when he spotted Lesha, he uh, was immediately reminded of his wife. He's watched over Lesha. He's never interfered with her. He's never tried to woo her. He didn't want to change the course of her life, but he's given her his protection unbeknownst to her. And Kain, Morahus' mother, watched all of this and was filled with pride for her son Kain, for the way he continues to honor his dead wife's memory. And she grew to admire uh, Lesha very much and decided that she wanted Lesha to be included in her family line. But out of respect for her son, she did not want to interfere with Lesha's life or bend her to her will. So she compromised a little bit. And what she did, she created a magical spring and she imbued it with her essence and the essence of her son. And she drew Lesha to that spring. Lesha drank deeply from it and fell into a deep sleep. Went home and thought nothing of it, but a few months later found she was pregnant which was impossible because at that point Lusha was a virgin. She was very much in love with a young man apprenticed to the village blacksmith. They planned to be married as soon as he completed his apprenticeship. But Kain had also thought of all of that and she had implanted in Lusha's mind the seeds of what to do with this strange pregnancy. So Lusha with her mother's and father's permission, traveled to visit her best friend. Uh, her best friend was a few years older than her and lived a few miles away, uh, a few villages away. Uh, her name was Sadie. Lesha um, stayed with Sadie through the pregnancy and Sadie and her husband adopted the baby boy. They had been wanting a child and had been unable to conceive one. So everyone was very happy. It all worked out well. Lesha returned home and married the love of her life. Geralt grew up thinking that Sadie was his mother and he was happy, a happy, healthy boy, well cared for. And he, uh, on his paternal, the paternal side, he had his father's strength, Morahouse, and he had his, gra his paternal grandmother, Kine. He had her gift of Thum, the dragon voice. And on his maternal side, he had the very good nature that his mother Lesha had, and he also had his grandmother's wandering feet. So there you have Geralt's backstory, and now in his, uh, he's just come out of, he spent a few days in Whiterun, resting up and spending a bit of his gold, and uh, he's come across this interesting house. He's about to have a look and see if maybe they've got any odd jobs for him. But what a place, look at this. Holy cow! 
Nice location mods. Wow. Oh, I'm excited. I just want to have a Brightwood discovered. I just want to... Oh, this is a brilliant... Oh my gosh. Wouldn't you love sitting out here? Holy cow. I love it. I absolutely love it. There's a telescope. Oh, how cool. How cool. Oh, brilliant. And look at this house. It's adorable. What else have we got out here? Look at these lamps. Those are neat. Yeah. Little garden. Nice. Fertile soil. Oh, we can, can we can plant things here. Yeah, I read that the mod also acts as a home for the player, so that is super cool. I might be playing this quite a while, but I just wanted to record at least this first episode, just a little bit of an ode to Shirley Curry. Okay, well, I'm nervous. Okay, let's, let's meet her. Hello? Hello? I feel like I should be knocking and waiting politely outside, but... Hello? <gasps> Hi, you look like a brave, strong adventurer. Oh! I wonder if you could help me with something. Oh my god, that's actually her voice. It's Shirley's voice in Skyrim. I'm playing. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me while I fangirl a little bit. Ah! Okay, okay. Whoops. No, 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 no. Put that away. <sighs> okay, calm down. Calm down. This is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this place is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. Okay, we'll look all around in a sec. I'm gonna talk to Shirley. That's a dwarven chair. Cool. Hello? Ah, you look like a brave, strong adventurer. I wonder if you could help me with some... What do you some need? Some rotten bandits from a hideout nearby broke in recently. <gasps> And they stole my favorite great sword and bow. You're kidding. Would you be a deer and go fetch them for me? I am on it. Mm -hmm. I will, goodness and mercy, I will absolutely retrieve more Cass and Elder Branch, Shirley's great sword and bow. Where is this? Is it, is it nearby or? Oh, do I have to activate the quest? Da -da -da. Goodness and mercy. Where are you? Oh yeah, not far away. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is this outside? Okay. Oh, little kitchen with a little oh with a little through window. Hard candy. <laughs> Apple pie. Oh my god. Cooking pot. This is so cool. So, 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 so. Look at all the books. Yellow Book of Riddles. Kiss Sweet Mother. Big shield. Oh, what's... What's up here? Oh! Oh, neat! Oh, cool! Little lot. What? Ballad of Gansy. <gasps> Gansy! Oh, that was one of her characters. I know that you've all heard about old Ragnar the Red, so I'll sing about young Gansy the Red Guard instead. An orphan and a soldier and a friend of Khajiit who started out a hero just to end up as a thief. Her parents both were murdered by bandit thugs and so. Khajiiti merchants raised her up as if she was their own. I remember this. They taught her about some thieving, but once she was full grown, she headed out for Skyrim for vengeance and for gold. She rescued many people, as every hero should, and joined up with the lone Khajiit who was misunderstood. And just as she had planned it, fulfilling vengeance law, she found and killed the bandits who had killed her ma and pa. But Nords were still ungrateful, she couldn't figure out why, and so she thought perhaps I should give banditry a try. This is nice. 
but though she tried her first attempt collecting for the guild, ended up in mayhem and many people killed. She thought about the motto the Thieves' Guild had which said, you can't collect more debts from a debtor who is dead. The guard said, wait, I know you, for you've committed crimes. Now you will pay me money or you will, or will you, now will you pay me money or will you do the time? <laughs> but Gansey said, now cease your threats. They all are doomed to fail, for I would rather die than spend one night in your jail. So she and her Kajidi friend did from the city flee and found themselves hiding and now, now both were refugees. He said, there's only one way that we both won't go down. So here's your last chance, Gansey. We both need to leave town. Goodness gracious, this is so cool. It's very long. So listen to the lesson that I'd like you to learn of young Gansey the Red Guard and how her life had turned. A hero is a hero if, when young, she ends up dead. Or she might just live to become a villain instead. A hero is a hero if, when young, to death she falls. Or she might just live to become a villain after all. <laughs> That's so cool. That is so, whoops, I meant to put it back. I should put it back. I feel like I should put it back. No, well, I guess not. It's okay. Do you, oh, I can sleep up here. Oh, neat. And if I could play music, I could, oh, that is so cool. That is so cool and open downstairs. Oh, I have a little loft bed for visitors, which is me. Oh. What else have we got in here? Hello. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> I'm just having a look around, Shirley. I hope you don't mind. Take ugly outfit. <laughs> Sweet roll recipe. Of course. Take call Shirley. Oh, cool. You can use this horn to summon Shirley to your position. To use it, simply select it in your inventory or use the power added in your magic menu. Ah, neat! No one, no one. Grandkids dresser! Gra you mean... You mean I get a room? Ah, oh, that is so cool! I mean, Garrett doesn't know he's her grandkid yet, but he actually is. That is so cool! So I can store stuff in there. Weapon rack. This is far out. I am loving it. Ooh. What do we have in here? Wardrobe. Oh. Neat little stand. Note from a friend. Be careful, friend. This one here is... Oh. Well, wait a minute here. Be careful, friend. This one hears rumors of darkness coming to the province of Skyrim. Is this, is this uh, an ego? A corruption that our crew has not seen in many moons. Another mutual friend of ours wishes to meet. It pains this one to say this, but we may have to make the journey again. The caravan is already preparing for the worst. This one may be a rejected relic of a dying order, an outcast among outcasts that has never known true comfort, but there is a value in having a place to call home. That is why we offer this dwelling as a gift. It may be humble, but much care has been put into its restoration. It has a strong history and has proven to be a reliable shelter in times such as these. We hope that it serves you well. The Spiralius and Scrivener are on their way. If all goes as planned, we shall gather before frostfall, and the blight will be gone. If not, then the birds will sing of our demise. But it is too early for such sad songs. Unlike the deceitful silver tongues, this one has faith that we will persevere. Never trust a bard. Walks in sleep. Wow. Walks in sleep. I'm not sure what that refers to. Hold in the dragon. Bed owned. Oh, no, this is Soul Gem Fragment. This is uh, Shirley's room. Okay, oh, okay, cool. Sorry, ma'am, I didn't mean to snoop around in your bedroom. And this is grandkids' room. So cool. And then there's a loft for visitors. Neat. So neat. Oh, dice. Oh, cool. Dice and 
cards, maybe? That is cool. Oh, globe. I love this place. I love the location, too. Ah, enchanting table, good. Or, uh, alchemy lab, I mean. There should be an enchanting table somewhere. You would think. Unless there's not, because Shirley was never a huge fan of that. <laughs> oh, oh, Brightwood Cellar. Oh, oh my god. Oh, this is flipping gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Holy cow. The rose. Provenance of the rose. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Dwarven stuff. This looks like early iron armor. Yeah. Look at this with the fountain and the garden and oh my god. Leather armor of the squire. Oh, how cool is that? No, I'm not gonna harvest the moss. It's pretty. Look at this. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Ah, eh, there's a enchantment table. Nice. Enchantress primer. Mr. Floaty! Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Inspect. I don't want to disturb anything. I'm afraid that inspecting it might pick it up or something. Okay, let's just quick save. Staring at the strange floating ball of light, you feel almost as though it is alive and staring right back at you. You feel no discomfort from this, however. In fact, it is oddly warm and peaceful, and somehow you know that Mr. Floaty feels the same way about you. Perhaps one day you will delve deeper into the mystery surrounding this creature, but for now, this, this bizarre understanding you have between you is enough for both of you. Well, that's very interesting. Very interesting. Did... Did Inigo... Inigo had a little head. I can't remember what it was, though. I thought maybe it was a butterfly in a jar. Interesting. Oh, this is this is just beyond cool. Oh, we've got a little bit of smithy down here, too. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, oh, we've got a full-on smelter. I didn't even realize. I love the way it's into the wall like that. Cool. Okay, so yeah, full smithing. In the basement, how convenient is that? Open display case. Oh, last dagger of binding. Nice. Letter opener of destiny. <laughs> this is beyond cool. This is, uh, wow, the mods have done a beautiful job on this place. Absolutely beautiful. I like the little raised section of the ceiling. The flags, and the plants, the lamps. Oh, I would live here. I would happily live here. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Well, let's go uh, get Shirley her sword back. Let's do it. We are on the case. It'd be a big save. All right, where is it? Oh, it's at the Silent Moons camp. I know it well. All right. Now, can I just tippity hop down the rocks? Watch me plunge to my death. What a great location. I absolutely love, love it. So cool. 
so, so cool. Or Silent Moon's camp. Hello. Oh, you little slippery little bugger. Oh, you little bugger. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I forgot the quick save. All right. Let's try that again. Come right up from behind, that might be kind of fun. I usually come in the front and just hide in those lower buildings, and that actually works really well. But... What the heck was Skibbit or Earl? Uh oh. I think I hear a bear. I do. Oh boy. Okay. Nope. Nope. Not in the mood for Mr. Bear. Don't think he spotted me. Oh 
You bastard. There you go. There you go. And let's quick save this time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's been a while since I've Skyrimmed. I don't think the folks up top have noticed. Oh yeah, that's how you get in, I think. Somebody might have a key? I don't know, It's uh, it's been a long time and everything's all kind of blended together in my memory. But you know, these bastards broke into Shirley's house, so they're all gonna die. Open oh, so that, well I wanna kill the guys up top first. No mercy. You mess with the uh, you mess with Grandma Shirley. And it won't go well for you. Somebody's... Little bugger. Victory is, yours. Victory is mine, all right. There you go. Whew. That guy was a little tough. But you guys messed with the wrong grandma. Easy. Dirty bandits. Take all of that. What's that? Light armor and forging? Oh, didn't get me anything. Lunar steel of war axe, 15. Nice. That's kind of pretty, I'll take that. All right. Oops, whoops. Quick save. Let's go get it. Kill the bandit leader. Collect the. Okay, but I I don't even care about Roventus, Evan Nietzsche. I want Shirley's sword. And if it's completed, why am I hearing a voice? Don't go Skyrim on me, Skyrim. Me, me, me. Kill him to get 
get some beer. For every now and then. Stupid bees and their stupid honey. <laughs> really? No key? Did he have a key? Gotta level up. I'm really excited to get back and uh, and then go adventuring with Shirley. I'm really curious how well she does that. And, you know, I, I sort of I, I didn't really have a plan, but I, I had in mind that maybe I would try sort of role-playing as Geralt, and I failed miserably. I have a new respect for how Shirley does that. It's not easy. <laughs> oh, I I didn't even... Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. More costs and Elder Branch. Let's have a look. Elder Branch. Damage 15. Venomous sap. Poison damage. She loved poisoning her arrows which heals poison damage, which heals the wielder. Oh, that is cool. More potent for successful stealth hits. Wow, nice. And more costs. You can't quite keep your grip on this weapon. There must be, <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I, w I just wanted to read about it, but it doesn't say anything. But that is really cool that you can't grip it. It's made for her grip, I guess. That's neat. Okay. Save and then pop right back and see what she says. Oh, what time is it? Eight twenty three. Not that bad. Hey, I fetched your sword for you and your bow. Yeah? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Say, you seem to handle yourself quite well out Oops. there. Now that I have my weapons back, perhaps you'd let me tag along a while? Oh, you bet. Oh, yes. I've been sitting here too long. I want to see Skyrim again. And since you're here, I can guess you have the urge for adventure and exploration, too. I do. I always have. Yeah. Well, you know, if I was Geralt, I suppose I would ask this. Of course, as a longtime fan of Shirley Curry, I don't need to ask. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, dear. I have more experience <laughs> than any five mercenaries you could find put together. <laughs> I've forgotten more about fighting than they've ever even learned. <laughs> Oh, yes. Wonderful. Let's get going. All right. What should I call you, Shirley? This <laughs> barbarian. <laughs> hmm. How about you just call me Grandma? Oh. Yeah, that feels right. Oh. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. So, so cool. How do I, um... D oh, let me... Did she take the... What you got there? <laughs> That's cool, what you got there. She did take them. Beautiful. All right. Um, I'm not sure if she's... Well, we'll find out. I don't know Shall if she we has... find an adventure? Yes, let's. Oh, 
Oh, wow. This is so cool. All right, I'm going to pause here. Um, uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll record a bit of, uh, of uh, Grandma and I heading out for some adventure. Yeah, yeah, I probably will. Probably do one more video. 